in these uh, quite blustery conditions, it's, uh, the GPS is actually keeping it quite steady. Uh, I'm very surprised at that. I was quite nervous when I took it out at first, but uh, these nerves are, are actually going away. I'm not sure if you can actually see on the grass while well, it's not moving how windy it is. See, that, that's just down at ground level. Once you get up, there's uh, a lot of wind coming off the uh, fence here. A lot of wind going over there, so it's getting buffeted around, but it's uh, doing quite a well, uh, good job. Um, I'm quite impressed, I'm very happy with it in fact. Uh, looking forward to uh, the wind going away and getting out and getting some good flights. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the camera out, uh, put the GoPro on it and fly around. Uh, as it is, I'm not going to do any prop balance or anything. We want to see what um, we want to see what kind of uh, pictures we're getting straight out the box, and then if I need to, I'll balance the props and we'll see what the uh, the footage looks like then. So let's have a little fly. I kept raising up then, but that was actually my fault because I put the throttle, set the throttle too high, I didn't level it. I actually let go of the controls whilst it was there, still climbing. You can see it's getting buffeted around by the, um, the wind here. And you can see that uh, the LED on the back is actually flashing quite a lot now red. So I'm going to bring that into land. And it shuts off automatically. So yeah, don't forget to turn it on. Do full left and down with the uh, controls. So quite happy with that first flight. Um, considering I, I've never flown this before or anything like this before. I did have a go uh, hovering a TBS um, a couple of weeks ago, but literally for about 30 seconds and I was too scared. So yeah, pretty happy with this guys. Uh, I hope this video has uh, helped some of you make your mind up. And that's it. So uh, don't forget, I'm, I'm, I'm actually an end user. I am not, I don't work for anybody. I uh, don't work for any companies and that. I mentioned quadcopters.co.uk because they're the guys I've bought it from. So I thought it was only fair to share where I've bought it from. Um, I did notice that they do do world shipping. So, you know, if you live elsewhere, they will ship to you. And uh, you won't, uh, some com uh, countries you don't even have to pay the VAT. So you'll get it even cheaper. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got my thumb on it. So we need to check the... Uh, motors but they're all lukewarm shall I say at the moment it's been sat for a minute um, but yeah um, I'm very happy with this I'm gonna read the manual <laughs> should have done that first really but you know that's how I roll uh, read the manual uh, set the compass uh, now I know it's okay I'm going to um, stick the GoPro in and see how long it can actually fly for um, at least you're going to get true figures with me I'm not going to say oh it flies for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 10 minutes I'm going to give you an exact uh, flight time so uh, stay tuned for that guys I uh, appreciate you watching uh, sorry this was a little bit long but uh, you want to see what this is all about and uh, yeah this is the final uh, end user production model uh, hopefully I'm the first one in the UK to actually have it out and get it flying. If I am, then I'm very happy. So uh, thanks for watching guys, take it easy, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate and comment. And I'll uh, be back very, very soon with another video.